latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Kevin Holmes with a look at your headlines. It is the beginning of a new chapter in the U.S. Today, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris sworn in as president and vice president of the United States. The president vowed to beat the pandemic and bridge the political divide. He explicitly condemned white supremacy and spoke optimistically about what our country can achieve with a hope for unity. President Biden signing more than a dozen executive orders on his first day in office. The first order will require masks and physical distancing in all federal buildings on all federal lands and by federal employees and contractors. Some of his other other orders reverse those President Trump issued, including the so-called Muslim ban and the construction of a southern border wall. President Biden also plans to rejoin the World Health Organization and the Paris Agreement on climate change. Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes back on the practice field this afternoon. Mahomes still working his way through that concussion protocol after leaving Sunday's playoff game. Coach Andy Reid says Mahomes took on a lighter, no contact practice. He said Mahomes took all the snaps and is feeling good, but it's still unclear whether he'll start Sunday against the Buffalo Bills in the AFC Championship. We'll hand things off to Gary Lezak for the forecast. All right, Kevin, here's what's going on. A storm is going to track across southern Canada. And that'll bring a first cold front through, and a high pressure will settle over us on Friday. As that happens, it'll be cold. Snow to the north, snow to the south, but probably no snow here. Then Saturday, look at all this moisture. It'll start producing some snow with the storm north of this little system that tracks across us. So the snows to the north, maybe a rain shower here, and turning colder by Sunday evening, because for the game, notice there's a cold surge that will be coming this way. Our forecast for the next seven days looks like this. Well, I'll get to that, here it comes. Uh, 58, 58 degrees tomorrow. Have a great night.